hello dear students today we will solve some of the problems related to quantum mechanics so in the first problem calculate the de broglie wavelength associated with an electron having kinetic energy 100 electron volts so here they have given you the kinetic energy of the electron e and they have asked you to calculate the de Broglie wavelength of electron that is lambda so dear students uh, we have an equation that lambda is equals to h upon a root of 2m e so here the e is given in terms of electron volt so that we should convert in terms of joules and that is the reason first we should convert it first we should convert it in terms of joules and then that we are going to use in this equation so when we substitute all the values lambda is equals to h h is 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 divided by a root of 2 m that is the mass of electron 9.11 into 10 to the power of minus 31 into 100 into 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 so after simplifying we will be getting lambda is equals to 1.227 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter so the de broglie wavelength of the electron is 1.227 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter this is the first problem then we will go for the second problem that is problem 2 here the velocity of an electron of a hydrogen atom in the ground state is 2.19 into 10 to the power of 6 meter per second calculate the wavelength of the de Broglie wave associated with its motion so hydrogen atom is having an electron which is present in the ground state which is having a velocity of this much and they are asked to calculate the wavelength of de Broglie wave so the velocity of electron they have given v is equals to 2.19 to 10 to the power of 6 meter per second and they are asked to calculate the de Broglie wavelength lambda so we know lambda equation lambda is equals to h upon m into v so h is the Planck's constant that is 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 m mass of an electron 9.11 into 10 to the power of minus 31 into v that is velocity which is given here so it is 2.19 into 10 to the power of 6 so after simplifying all these we will be getting lambda is equals to 3.31 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter that is the de Broglie wavelength of the electron now if we go for the third problem so in the problem t compute the de Broglie wavelength for a neutron moving with one tenth part of the velocity of light they have given mass of the neutron that is 1.674 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg so they have given the mass of the neutron and they have given the velocity of neutron as v is equals to one tenth of the velocity of light so all of we know velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second one tenth of this velocity is the velocity of neutron so we can write v is equals to 1 by 10 into c that is velocity of light so we can uh, get the velocity of neutron as 3 into 10 to the power of 7 meter per second that is the reason we can write lambda is equals to h upon m into v this is equals to h is 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 m is mass of the neutron which is given 1.674 into 10 to the power of minus 27 and v v is the velocity of neutron which is 3 into 10 to the power of 7 meter per second so here we will get lambda is equals to 1.314 into 10 to the power of minus 14 meter this is the third problem so we will go for the next problem the fourth problem in a measurement of position and velocity of an electron moving with the speed the speed of electron they are given 6 into 10 to the power of 5 meter per second calculate the highest accuracy with which its position could be determined if 
the inherent error in the measurement of its velocity is 0.01 percent for the speed stated so first let us understand what is the problem meaning so the problem says that speed of an electron is this much v is equals to 6 into 10 to the power of 5 meter per second but this velocity has a minimum error in the measurement the minimum error in the measurement of this velocity is of the order v is equals to 0.01 percent okay so best accuracy with which the position could be measured that is delta x we have to find out okay so all of we know the heisenberg uncertainty principle using that heisenberg uncertainty principle we are going to solve it so first let us find out uncertainty in the speed uncertainty in the speed we need to calculate so that is nothing but delta v is equals to 6 into 10 to the power of 5 this is accurate to this percent so 0 0.01 divided by 100 that is nothing but 60 meter per second okay so 60 meter per second is the uncertainty that is delta v so this we will be using it in uncertainty in finding the position that is delta x is greater than or equal to h divided by 4 pi into delta p that is equals to h divided by 4 pi this delta p we can write it as m into delta v remember p is the momentum so this p we can write it as m into delta v remember there will be no delta m there is no uncertainty in finding the mass there may be uncertainty in finding the velocity only that is the reason so by substituting these values h is going to be 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 4 pi value then m is 9.11 into 10 to the power of minus 31 delta v we have calculated it here so into 60 so after solving all these we will be getting delta x is greater than or equal to 9.65 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter this is what the minimum uncertainty with which the electron can be located is 9.65 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter so this is the problem on heisenberg uncertainty principle now we will go for the next problem that is particle in a deep potential well so here they have given an electron is bound in one dimensional potential well of width one angstrom the width of the well is one angstrom but of infinite wall height its wall height is infinite find its energy values in the ground state and also in the first two excited state okay so the width of potential well they have given a is equals to one angstrom that is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 10 meter values of energy of the electron values of energy of the electron in ground and first two excited state in the ground and first two excited state that is e1 e2 and e3 e1 is the ground state these two are the first two excited state okay so here we can write the expression for uh, eigen energy value en is equals to n square h square divided by 8 ma square and this we need to substitute n is equal to 1 for ground state n is equals to 2 for first excited state n is equal to 3 for second excited state so if i substitute e1 is equals to 1 n is equals to 1 then e1 is equals to <coughs> h square divided by 8 ma square so h value we have substituted 8 ma square this we need to square here <coughs> divided by 8 m a square and when you simplify these all values you will be getting this but this is in terms of joules this you have to convert it in terms of electron volt so it will be 37.64 ev then when you go for e2 either you have to take again the same equation and substitute n is equals to 2 or we have a relation that is e2 is equals to 4 into e naught so for this value if you multiply 4 you will be getting the e2 value and for the third energy state e3 
again you can go for this equation and you can substitute n is equals to 3 or we have a relation that is 9 into e naught so we'll be getting this equation so this is about the particle in a d potential well thank you